why cryptocurrencies gained so much of interest was because of the financial markets crisis. When people are being pushed to their limit, they tend to become creative and find ways around. And banks and regulators and of course central banks as well as governments have gone over and beyond what they what they were intended to be or intended to do. That's indeed the reason why I personally believe in cryptos and Bitcoin. And of course, over and beyond, I believe that peer-to-peer -peer operation is the future. I just read a news yesterday that in West Virginia, a couple was going to a casino with $10,000 in cash with them and police stopped them, they seized the, the funds from them with no criminal offense at all. Now, which part of this is ethical and which part of it is legal? And that's indeed the reason why I personally support human freedom and that's indeed the reason why I'm a libertarian myself. I believe in liberty, I believe in human rights and that also includes my liberty on my personal decision on what I do with my money whether I keep it in Bitcoin, whether I keep it with gold or keep it in fiat or even burn it. Okay, I understand that burning fiat may be a criminal offense in some countries so you don't have to really do it but still it's my decision on whatever the hell I do with my money that I've paid taxes on. That being said, today market is going very well. If you look into iCoin sentiment market cap, you will see everything green. The green signs over there that you see is the sentiment analysis the, the AI is giving us. And two out of the ten is showing neutral and of course one of them is tether. And ether is the other one that's neutral. The rest of the coins are on bullish run. For technical analysis perspective, Bitcoin is currently showing the sign of bullishness. They, it broke above 7000 level as we projected it. Currently it stands at 7070. Support is at 6920. And my target remain unchanged from yesterday, 7,210 and 7,500. And Ether, meanwhile, stands at 291 at the moment. Support is at 270. And resistance is at 315 and 363, unchanged from my previous analysis. Again, well, when you do a long-term proper analysis, you don't have to change your mind every day, every day, every day. And I do expect bullish run to come because of the news that I'm going to be mentioning here. So, first of all, cryptos and innovation overall, let's forget the crypto to the side. Innovation overall in general is being ignited by the young people. They are the creative minds, they are the, the people which comes or who comes with ideas and do their best to realize it. And according to a research that I read, I believe it was by Coinbase or Cointelegraph, 18% of the students in the US uh, universities do own cryptos. This is as much as, two times as much as the average of the US population. Twice. And also more than 42% of the top 50 US schools do offer blockchain and crypto related curriculum. Of course they do understand that blockchain is the future and technology innovation is just around the corner. Alright, I also acknowledge that perhaps for some of the activities people are telling about cryptos and blockchain, blockchain may not be the best technology to use. In fact, you know, some of the database uh, setups may be better set up than blockchain itself with just encryption involved inside. But still, nonetheless, peer-to-peer -peer is the feature because you eliminate the middle guy. On top of it, 
I'm also reading some things from banks, like Bank of America, which is a 310 billion plus company, has filed a patent for offering crypto custody. This is basically an institutional product development that they are doing. Lior is also doing something as well in the UK. So perhaps banks do have something that they are not really telling us. Perhaps something else is coming up that we don't know. Maybe they heard my previous out loud shout, shout that I said, you need to wake up. If you want to be the change, or if you want to see the change, be the change itself. Thank you guys. Now, in line with all, all these things, Turkey is also seeing some, again, further devaluation in their currency. This is in line with our analysis from two weeks ago that we said that it's going to be going down and from there onwards going up. This is exactly what's happening compared to last Friday till today. Turkish value against Euro. It, when I went to Turkey uh, on Friday, it was uh, 670 Euro Turkish Lira and currently it's 744, 750 more or less. So this is a giant increase again or reduction in the Turkish Lira. This has also led people to dump in a way Turkish Lira, find a refuge for their capital and of course where else than Bitcoin. I just checked the BTC Turk which is the largest Turkish crypto exchange. Their Bitcoin volume has risen to 14 million dollars and they are not the only one seeing rise in the Turkish Lira related demand on Bitcoin. The local exchanges Paribu, Coinim, Coinex, they also have a rise in the Bitcoin demand. These are good signs in a way, however I do hope that Turkey doesn't become the next Venezuela. Hyperinflation is something that worries me for my Turkish followers and I really hope that you don't end up being on the same level. But at the end, if it was not the government printing as many money or as much money as they could and you could have, let's say, a global economy which was based on a finite number of currencies, these things would not happen. We would be living in a better environment. That's in fact the reason why I believe liberty is essential for human beings. So. If you have not subscribed to my YouTube channels, I, channel, I would like you to go ahead and press that subscription button or subscribe button, press that like, share my videos in Telegram, Facebook, Twitter, wherever else that you can find it. Tag your friends, help me, help the community. Let's spread the word about the best cases about the Bitcoin and cryptos and blockchain and perhaps also worse cases and comments as well about them. For the time being, my name is Yegu Brahimov, joining from a to zmarkets.com and wishing you liberty. See you in our next video.